Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, so we need, we need something to see, so. Did, um, can you guys see this? Not really. No. <laughs> yep. That's a little bit. Mm -hmm. is, that, is, that, is it worth going through this on the screen? Well, I mean, I can see it fine. I don't know. I can't speak for Jack, but like, yeah. I can read the numbers. I can read what it says over here. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's clear. Yeah. Better? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Um, like Floyd monitoring this. All good. Better looking too. <laughs> I know. Hi, <laughs> Jody. Hi. How's it going? Um, so, so as everybody remembers, um, when we first started, we got the budget, um, and it came in uh, with an increase of two hundred eleven thousand um, dollars over last year, uh, with a nine percent, which is effectively a nine percent increase. Um, where we last left it, um, so and so our tax base, um, our um, valuation, I, I got that from Andrea, and it was let's see, I'll bring that up. Well, I, we can go we can go back to it, but our valuation is a last year it was about two hundred eighty three million dollars, um, and this year um, it it might be a little bit higher. Um, actually, let me bring it up. Yeah, I remember it, it was saying that at this time, last year to this year, we're slightly ahead of the game. Yes. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. So, it's been a lot of construction. So, this year's valuation is up some. Um, so, it used to be that our valuation, um, and anybody feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, um, for about um, every $200,000, $220,000 in increased spending, um, it was a dollar per thousand. A dollar on the, th on the tax rate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's a little different now with our new valuation. I can't do that quick math off the top of my head anymore. Um, what so is the new evaluation? Uh, right, right. Um, so, so basically, you know, Can you see? Our, our net increase could be higher before we get to a dollar. So. It's really divided by a hundred, might be hundred <laughs> or a thousand. Thousand. Yeah. Um, so that's that's kind of so where we're at. So we started with almost um, I'll say almost a dollar increase with the budget that was proposed. Yeah. So we're now at um, in, after our last meeting um, with the changes that we made, <clears throat> we were still at one hundred twenty-two thousand, which was about a five percent increase over last year. What was so, the first one about at nine percent? It was nine percent at two hundred eleven thousand. Two eleven. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. And that was about a fifty-three thousand dollar. Actually, I think I have notes here. Fifty-three, fifty-three thousand dollar increase um, in salaries when we first started. Just salary adjustments. Um, with our current increases. Um, we are now at about um, five percent increase in thirty-nine thousand um, uh, dollars over last year. Oh, sorry, no, I'm sorry, thirty-nine thousand in salaries and one hundred twenty-two thousand um, over last year's budget. Okay. So, so what I did is I went through <clears throat> the budget line by line and kind of looked at areas that we hadn't spent. Um, in a couple of years, or were underspent, 
which I think is a similar approach um, that the budget committee took at Jack in the meeting. Um, John, when we asked John about how they cut seventy thousand dollars last year, he said they went back and looked at how, where how much they underexpended, and it was I think six percent. Angela, was it about six percent last year? Um, over the last few years, they underexpended by somewhere between five and seven percent. I actually don't remember that percentage over prior years. I'm, tr I'm here to kind of understand okay, what sorry. those are. Yeah. <laughs> so please, yeah. So, so that's how they were able to, basically, they increased the budget by two hundred dollars last year. Mm -hmm. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, two hundred dollars. About two hundred. Yeah, because if you look. Um, yeah, it was too hard. They almost level funded last year. And it was um default budget. It was yeah. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We took sixty thousand out of the budget mm -hmm. to get to just over the default budget. Mm -hmm. So 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 just so what is the default? Budget? So just so we're all clear, I want to make sure we're all clear. So. And if I'm wrong, correct me, but what happened last year is the select board presented the budget to the budget committee. Mm -hmm. And they they decided that it should be slashed by, well, they decided to go back to the um, original budget from the year before. And yeah. we accepted that. I we accept, the we accepted the default year. budget, and that's what it went through last year. I think it was just over the it was sixty thousand less. We took sixty thousand out of what? Right? Okay. So it was just m slightly more than the default budget. It, yes. I don't think it was the default budget. Okay. So the default budget um, can it so contracted items um, can be increased in the default budget. So those are honored in the default budget. Right. Um, contracted items, but everything else can be. Um, basic, it can be reduced in the default budget. It goes back to the original budget. So is, it, is the default budget last year's budget? No. No, what it was... It? Can Jack, the default budget is if people vote against the certain, proposed... Certain. No, if the proposed overall budget. Yes. If that gets voted down, then it goes into default. Yeah. But he's asking what it is right now, right, Jack? Oh, Jack. No, that's what I'm yeah, just asking. And I can believe it was... Yeah. To I guess we should find out, but I believe it was what it was the oh, I have following, it, but following year. I have it. So, yeah. yes. Yep. Yep. So, as not to go to the default budget, yep. we reduced the budget that was being submitted yep. by 60000 Okay. And that it was approved by the voters. Correct. We okay. did not end up with a default budget okay. because the voters approved the... Um, budget that was being submitted. Yeah. But it's okay. probably the same amount. Charlie has a similar. It was similar. It may not have been was, exact is what they're saying. And like it was <clears throat> some of that would be some of the warrant targets that were taken out there. Yeah, so how do you how do you come up with the, the this, default budget? She asked you. There are formulas she, for it. There are I, I don't I don't know. The she provides you. So the question would be at one hundred trying to follow here. For 122000 over last year's budget, where, where would the default bit budget be in relation to that this year? So, um, are you following what I'm saying? Yes. So, this year's budget is 122000 more than the approved budget last year, right? Yep. Yes. Where is that number in relation to the default budget? Would be one question that I think we have to understand. You just answered yourself. Hmm? You just answered your own question. What would end up happening it's is the default budget plus the contracted items. Okay, the Correct. default budget last year was two million three hundred eighty-seven thousand sixty-seven dollars. Two million three eighty-seven. So two three eight seven zero six seven. Mm-hmm. The, the proposed budget was two four five four seven five five, and that's what they voted on and said yes to. That was the approved budget. So let me see what's in the actual. And so this year, that would be the default budget. 
Unless the contract two, four, five, five, four. would be the default budget. Plus the contracted items. So yes. interestingly, um, this shows the 2020 approved appropriation as 2449764. Charlie. Okay. That's Last year, sweet. the first time the selectmen went to the budget committee, it was a 3.5% raise. And Joe and Suzanne decided to, to cut 3%. It went back to the selectmen, and the selectmen cut 3%. So it ended up a 0.5% increase. Not, I don't know the numbers, but that was the percentage on how they did it. But it didn't necessarily come from salaries. I think most of it came from highway. Oh, no, no. It came no, from yeah, everybody. Yeah. It yeah. came from everything, but that's mainly The main was highway. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so that's where so we are today. Cut the road I, just, I, I just, I'm processing the process. Yeah. So we, we go to the budget committee. We propose something. They say, hey, take it down 3%. Does that come back to us that we pick the, th the 3%? Mm -hmm. The budget committee's decision goes as well. That's just job. bottom line. Uh, well, the budget. Oh, do they, pick I do they take items out or do we take the items? They usually no. have bottom line authority. That, that's what I, yeah. okay. I just wanted to clear that. We, we can. Comp we can have an opinion on it, but oh, we no, don't no. really have any authority. Okay. It goes back to. I, you know, then it comes to us voting, <laughs> it, and after that vote... No, it's the budget committee's budget. It's the budget committee's yeah. budget that warrant. goes to the, uh, on the warrant. So you have all the ultimate authority in the end. For bottom line. Mm -hmm. For the, just the bottom line, right? Just the bottom line. Well, mm -hmm. it, yes. it, they, they handle it, bottom line authority, but they can go line by line. There's nothing that stops them from doing that. They haven't it's, done it in a while. Right. Right, and, and you know, not to not to split apples, but when when it at this two point three million dollars, it's still the when the budget's approved, it's still the select board who's going to oversee that money and make sure it's appropriated right and spent That's right. right. Yes. And if there's a warrant article for seventy thousand dollars that was supposed to be spent on something, we as a select board see something and, and our taxpayers are getting ripped off because that seventy thousand dollars is really a five thousand dollar job, yeah. then we're gonna. We're not, we're not going to spend that money. Right, right. Exactly. So, You're confusing, so though, because what we're voting on is not the warrants. We're voting on the operating side of the budget when we pass the budget. The warrants are separate. The warrant articles are separate and added on to but I think, operating. I think Paul's point is, is that although um, the Budget Committee has ultimate authority um, on the um, putting things on the ballot, like the, the operating budget and the warrants, <clears throat> it's really on the select board to make Correct. a decision about how the money's expended. Right. right. Correct. Yeah, at the end. I agree. So, Go ahead. All right, this is my ongoing confusion about authority and role. Uh, that is, so voting against the select board's budget is what gets printed. I, mean, I think it's still the select board's budget mm -hmm. that goes no, forward. No, no. But we have input on that. No, no, no. <clears throat> See, I think, so So has it been handled incorrectly in the past? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm just making sure because I was under the so impression Jody, a couple times that it was the final say was the select board for the budget. So I, I was the select board. Board. Hold on. I just want to make sure, and I haven't gone through. I mean the budget committee, sorry. I'm sorry, I haven't gone through. It probably is spelled out in Nova Territory, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. But, yeah, yeah. what are we going to say, Jody? So if we go back a couple of years, the select board presents a budget. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, to the budget committee. The budget committee can rubber stamp it, they can ask you to change it, um, give you a bottom line, um, you can even disagree. That's what gets printed on the voter ballot. Right. If you remember it, back in the day when we went to town hall meetings, the select board was not the one sitting up in front presenting the budget, it was the budget committee sitting up in front and the select board sat to the That's side. That's true. Right. That's right. So if you can picture it like that, Come the day we vote, we vote on the operating budget and then warrant articles. The operating budget passes or doesn't pass. If it does not pass, we go back to the default budget, which is last year's budget. What a couple of numbers changed Plus because of contracts. Yeah. Uh, and then the select board has, after the vote and after March 9th or whatever it is this year, they the select board 
is the one in charge of moving that running around where it needs to be moved to and why on operating budget on on capital items warrant articles things like that you know we've passed stuff and we ne ended up not buying it correct right. and then we had to put the warrant article out again and we're like didn't we just buy that truck and we're like no we never ended up buying it so it happens because the money's there or not there does that help yeah, no sort of. Sense. Sort of. It sort of does. I, you know, I, my ongoing confusion in these differences of opinion about who's. I, what I recall from last year is that the select board brought back a reduced, a budget reduced by sixty thousand, and as we voted on it, it was a kind of a, a precarious vote. <laughs> it's because the select board came back with the budget that you had recommended. Right. So they're trying to play so nice I, in the sand. I'm sure yeah. I have in my email somewhere that we got an opinion. I, I'm sure I got an opinion at some point on the budget committee. Mm -hmm. yes. What budget goes on? You did. I did. Yeah. Um, on the ballot. Right. So if you want, I can dig back. But it's no, 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 no. It's no. within the last month. Um. Oh, oh, that yeah. email. Um, mm -hmm. Right. There is another email um, about um, the preparation. It's about the preparation. I'll try to find it. But if, I, right. if, if it's useful, Angela, I'll send it to you guys. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank so you. it's that clear exactly how it works. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so I have a question about, mm -hmm. so the default budget for this coming cycle is the budget that was approved this last year. Year? This year? year? This year. This year. For this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, and this budget is $122,000 no. no, It's not. It's not done. No, we're not done. Oh, no, we're working on next year's okay. budget. This, we're working on next year's budget. Okay. Um, and so the, the budget this year is what? Two, well, we have conflicting numbers. What went in the annual report and what's here, but it's around... <clears throat> two million. Two, two, four, four. Four, five, four. Mm -hmm. two, four, five, four. So it would be two, four, five, four, seven, five, five. Um, but... So I'm not really sure where Caroline came up with this number, this approved appropriation, but that's, um, sorry, this one. Um, but anyways, can, can I just, just so make sure I'm clear. So the default budget for 2022 is this year's budget plus changes in contracts. If it does, if you're, if, if, if not changes, it does so contract changes. Con contract yeah. changes. Yep. Yes, mm -hmm. All right. Anybody want to <laughs> correct that? But that's always what the school list is. It's basically the approved appropriation plus any contract changes. Correct. Yep. Okay. All right. So moving on. So so I um, took some time to kind of look through where we were line by line to see where we could maybe reduce costs um, because I I don't I mean if if this board feels that we can do a 5% increase, $122,000, mm -hmm. then I'll, I won't even bother going through. No, I thought you had a proposal. To, I thought you had a third proposal down the one. This is, so this is the, the third idea. So I went through, looked for some areas where we could reduce um, costs mm -hmm. because they weren't expended um, or they, were, they hadn't been expended fully for a while. Just this year? Um, I, I, I no, I looked right. back a year or two. Um, and so, when it, I'll start with this. So, one. so, so, just a quick question, and I know what you're talking about. I just want to be clear. So, like when some department head comes and says, "Hey, I, you know, I'm gonna it's getting towards the end of the year, and I have this bucket of money that I'm gonna tap into, but I haven't." And it's almost kind of like, well, you know, this department head might have fifteen thousand dollars. He wasn't planning on using it, but because he had to put maintenance into, say, hypothetically, a fire truck, right? So now he's dumping into his radios. Yep. And if he didn't put money into his fire truck, you know, that money was still there. You know what I'm saying? Is that what you mm -hmm. kind of get at? Stuff like that, right? Um, right. No, I mean, I mean, how they expend um, at the end of the year is probably a whole different thing. I'm sure they right. search for a way to spend it. You right. know, because right. nobody wants to give free money back. Not that it's free, but it appropriated money. Right. I'll say. Right. But if they're... Well, I'm sure you've done research, but if, so it was like, if there's one like Bucket, for instance, of always will say highway department, and they always have ten thousand dollars or something. Yeah, that's and all what of a sudden you get the very end of the yeah, year and they yeah. use it and because they got to use it. Then that's a that's a place you might want to cut. Is what you're saying exactly? Um, okay. All right, good. I'm not putting words into your okay. microphone. So, so one thing I did. So we've heard from all the department heads 
Um, so this budget reflects some um, kind of a middle ground, what I say a middle ground. We've heard from all the department heads what their asks are for market increases. Um, you know, we got 20%, we got 12%, we got 13%, we got 7%, and we're all over the board. And so we can either sit down and talk to every department, negotiate with every department um, about a fair increase, um, or we can do something that has, you know, <laughs> kind of irked me for years and do the same amount across the board for every department. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to call it an across the board because it's really a mark, partial market adjustment to me as well. Um, so, but that's not going to get done 100. That, that's going to get done a little bit. That's it. Well, I'm not done yet. I know, but I'm just saying. So, so, so let me, when, let me, you, let me, when you see this. She's talking 5%. I know, so, I'm, but on the 5%, let me just yep. Yep. give my thought on this. You've been pushing for performance reviews, you've been pushing for market data, you've been pushing for all of these things. Yep. Isn't that in conflict with that? Because you're saying, hey, you, you and I are going to get the same raise. Well, well this so is it's five percent. I'm sorry, it's five percent on the line, Jack. Mm -hmm. So that, but that gives um, the authority, really, the authority to the department head. So, so they you're can still getting, allocate it the way they want. Right. You might get a one percent cost of living, and you might get a three percent um, market adjustment okay. or four percent market adjustment. That's so what I wanted to be clear. So it doesn't mean that every person that necessarily I'm, I'm, has we're, to. We're on, same thing. Okay. I, 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 that's what I was concerned about. Okay. That's it. That's what the police did when Bob was here. Yep. That is he did it. a flat rate, and then he did marriage. Yes, he had a pool. It was like a pool. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I've adjusted. Um, so this was originally, honestly, it was a three percent, but I did a five percent for mm -hmm. all of the um, the departments, including the executive office. And I think this 5% sure. is actually important as well because we don't know what a town administrator is going to cost. Um, so there's a, a little bit of buffer in this number um, for that as well. So originally it was a 3%, but that was at Caroline's current salary, which was uh, $65,000. Um, so, in this, in, so this line is Chuck and Salmi as well. So that would be the pool for that office. Yeah. And maybe some of it, a chunk of it goes to a town administrator, um, and it, then the other part goes to the increases, you know, merit increases and um, COLA. Col so you'll see these are highlighted at 5%. Um, so, this one, so this one, Budget Committee Secretary, I looked back at that. So is that a savings of five grand right there, I see? Um, is that what it's no, right no, this is plus. Okay. Um, in parentheses, is negative. So I only, the only thing I t I'm going to go over is things that I touched, but if you see yeah, no, no, that's what I yeah. So if it's highlighted or red, I made an adjustment. Mm -hmm. I got that. Um, so this one was, it was appropriated, so if you look at this line, um, they haven't even got up to $1,000 in this line. Um, and they increased it last year. Um, so I made an, a slight adjustment to that one. So these are... I don't know that any, so only really significant adjustment was really in highway, but if you want to, I'll talk through these. Um, so I, again, you know, kind of looked back to see um, we were at a thousand, actually, we were at a 500 here, a thousand, and then they said a thousand, and we've only, we haven't even expended um, half of it, well, this year. Mm -hmm. So I made an adjustment there. Mileage. So you're, you're, okay, so you're saying instead of a thousand, something mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh, mileage, um, so it was it was up at 950. Um, they approved 600. We've used 22, so I went to 400. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, let's see. This this is concerning to me. I didn't highlight it, but I have a note over here because we, we've expended well, and maybe somebody more informed than me can talk about this. Um, a couple years ago, we expended 27, uh, appropriated 27. We haven't spent that, so there was an adjustment not made by me. It was it must have been Caroline, um, but I don't know. I mean, I feel like 20,000 is probably okay, but I'm concerned that two years ago we spent 27. What, what line? Uh, line. Preferred services. Okay. Professional service. Oh, professional service. Yeah. yeah, that would be a lawyer. Yeah. And so, other services. And there was, you know, yeah, that that's. That was a tough year, that year that they spent. What are you proposing the for 20 grand? I didn't touch it. It was already there. No, no. I think. Oh, Jody. Is this your reevaluation year? Yes. Oh, it is. Then you're going to need it. Mm-hmm. 
I thought next year was. I thought for, we're at year. Well, the one that you're looking at is is the one that you'll be reevaluating in. Yeah, 2022. So people will come in with um, arguments four, about five, um, and wanting abatements, and mm -hmm. you'll be using Chad more. You'll be using Chad will be in here quite often. You'll be in here looking over veterans okay. exemptions and elderly exemptions and things right. like that. So we'll yeah, that's not. You don't need a lawyer for that. No, but the professional services is it, still going to go it, up. It goes under those things. Every time you call Chad in, um, it's not a flat rate, unfortunately. Most well, of it is, but some of it isn't. So we'll leave it at 20. We won't go any lower than that. It, it would be a safe bet, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if something does come up and you don't have the money to fight it, and you guys don't want certain things done in the town, and you need a lawyer to explain it, mm -hmm. you won't have the lawyer to explain it. They'd have to use Thanks. contingency. Um, so the stormwater, um, I, I wondered about this. Mm -hmm. So we at, we're at five. Um, last year we had seventy-five. We only we didn't we haven't even used five in the last two years. So I dropped that to five. Mm -hmm. But uh, somebody may know more than me about upcoming stormwater um, activities. Who, who? Me. Who's responsible for that? Me right now. Well, um, anticipated costs. What do you have right there? Uh, so it was budgeted, it got bumped up last year to 7500 but we've only used 2900 so far this year. Yeah, 5000 I'm okay with. Yeah. Okay. I was asking about that because uh, it doesn't have something to do with cleaning the all the... Catch basins? Catch yeah. basin, basins and also... That's all, that's all... Is that, that a separate line? Well, what would is? be part of it is like when Salome, or I shouldn't say Salome, when Salome sends out for the town... Um, like the septic and how you keep carrying septic, you know, mm -hmm. it might be a cost of the town seven hundred and fifty bucks, but it's all part of actually storm water when we sweep. The so sweeping we have, I sweep. had asked we about. We have a catch basin so, line. Yeah. There in your budget you'll see it's in the uh, highway, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's all the regulations that storm water to I haven't, has I haven't had to deal with any legal fees yet. Storm, well, what about the thing at the fire station? The oil separator. Yeah, but that's a separate line by item, item two yes, from the fire okay. station. Oh, the wash um, station? Yeah. So, the, so, so because of stormwater, real briefly, if you don't know about it, is because we're one of the communities, I go to say there's 11 that border Great Bay or mm -hmm. right, the oh, waters. Yes, yeah, um, I know. We have, to, you know. we have to monitor our waste, nitrogen, right. and all part of that is sweeping, leaves cleaning out, and all that stuff, basically. And that's all non-point source pollution. Non-point source. Where it's getting measured is okay, the point source. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, I mean, this is related to the um, water sewer budget and the uh, license to operate. So I'm very concerned about that because I think it's going to have an impact on um, our license to operate the water sewer district. Thank you, Angel. That's where the certification is going to come in. But anyway, yeah, so that's in there, but it's not a digression. It's a complicated situation because it doesn't involve all the taxpayers in the town, but it definitely involves a portion of us. Oh, I understand, but does it affect our budget? Because it's a budget workshop tonight. I, I know, I, I know. And so let's know, let, let's take it yeah, offline uh, afterwards. Let's talk after. Sure. Um, let's get through the budget and then we can have an offline discussion about concerns. Yeah. Is that okay? Yep. Okay, yeah. For right now, the okay. question is 5,000 is okay. Okay, um, so but what's that twenty three thousand? Uh, oh, that's good. Oh, that's father down. So sorry. this is advertising um, here. Um, again, um, pretty underexpended. So I dropped that down to five hundred. Uh, contingency. That's typically one percent of your operating budget. Um, I think it was twenty four. Yeah, I think I dropped it. Mm. Um, basically, just slightly over last year. Mm -hmm. So contingency basically is a, it's kind of like a slush fund. Okay. So what is the number now? Um, this year's twenty two five forty eight. Um, it's a savings basically. It's um, an emergency fund. Mm -hmm. okay. So so that uh, brought the, the executive office down to um, down two percent. Um, town clerk stipend again a five percent um, pool I'll say there. Mm -hmm. That's the only change I made there. Okay. Um, I did, oh, I'm sorry, I did change his vital records. 
So I looked at this, and it, they bumped it up, and I'm not sure why they bumped it up. So it had been 15, they only spent 11, they went to 15, they've only spent 5 so far. Um, so I moved, I basically dropped it to 1,200. Where's his expenses that we talked about for the, uh, the motor vehicles online? Expenses? Yeah, it should be in there. I know we had, one of the things I had asked, which I did, was what it included for the um, online, Do you mean revenue? online registration. It's like $2,400. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, it's the software. software. It's in yeah. the software. This line yeah. right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's so do, you, do I give you that answer? It's basically just the fees for the software and yeah. doing business. Yeah. Which seems, seems a little high, but I mean, it's a, it's a good convenience to the town, but well, you know, I didn't again, think it was that much per year. It depends how much use it gets. Yeah, yeah true. All right, so that was um, so that's still a 16% increase, but um, but it's, this is you know a big increase here, um, and we have increased elections, so there's not much we can really do there. Um, tax collector, the only thing I could um, make adjustment here, there's really no room here at all. Um, so I did again a 5% pool there because there was nothing, there's no budget there. Mm -hmm. um, mapping. Um, this is kind of interesting because it looks like we haven't had any, and maybe this is reevaluation year, so it's going to, we yeah, might not want to do this. Yeah. Um, although, so we haven't had any expenses for a couple of years. I so that may, that could be iffy. We have to, I need to get more detail about checking that line. Mm -hmm. I think Caroline spoke about that and how we don't have current maps. Okay. And it's difficult when people come in and things are not current. Yeah. It was um, supposed to contract with Stratford Regional yeah. on the mapping, and it didn't get done, and that's why the money wasn't spent. Okay. So we may may want to think twice about well, level funding it. Actually, I just level funded it. Yeah, I think just for that, it's fine. Um, and so Health insurance you can't change. I highlighted these because oh, we don't we, even we know don't know that. we don't know the new rates. That, that could like definitely make a huge impact. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. A water. <laughs> Background checks. Um, they they won't give us any estimates. Um, On those. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I have to ask Chuck who we deal with. Um, so that. yeah, that's something that this board, you know, might want to think about too. I guess for, not for the next this year, but the coming years is about, you know, maybe getting a better package, you know, mm -hmm. better funded package or something like that. So I, they must have a service that they go through, Jody. So. Chronix comes in and gives you several options, um, and it's through Health Trust, which is through all the other insurances. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and uh, they give you options, like when I was on the board, the five dollar per copay was off the off the board. It wasn't. We weren't allowed to offer it any longer, so we had to pick the ten, the twenty, or twenty five copay, and all of it has its a uh, its fees to it and then there was the one the plans where you could do um, um, FSA accounts and health savings accounts and all that jazz. So you're gonna have a variety to pick from. So and depending on the budget and what premiums are offered, um, different cities are going to different options and some cities end up paying it and then end up being cheaper for the city as a whole pay the whole premium and the employee has a five dollar higher copay. So we, I suppose we could probably reach out to Primex to see if they have any estimates for us. Um, I made a note of that. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't, I mean, you might expect, you know, maybe a five or possibly a ten percent increase in that, hopefully not, but I can't imagine it's going to be some crazy jump from one year to another, mm -hmm. right? That's fair to say. Mm -hmm. no. Sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes. So the the lot, the lot of things, in jump in one year. There's a lot of things are happening right, right. now. Yeah. Um, so training, I made an adjustment only because it wasn't really there wasn't much of an expenditure expenditure in the last couple of years. But then again, I just thought that could be COVID related. Um, so I don't know if we want to make that adjustment quite so. Much would you make it 750? But, anyways, um, how much is in the training line right now? 500. No, oh. uh, 1100. We haven't spent anything. 
because sometimes that's for like if the budget committee needs to have a training session or if the planning board needs to. Isn't that what that's for, Jody? Yep. Okay. Um, so what did you bring down? Did you bring it down? Um, did you suggest pay for like five years? You brought it down to five hundred. Okay. Planning board is all new, <laughs> so you probably want to have training. Um, I would think they have their own, uh, when we get there, we'll have to look yeah. if they have their own line of Yeah. Of course, you know, the NHMA has a lot of training, but not yeah. a lot of it you can get, for, not all of it for free, but a lot of it you can. Right. Um, termination, um, looks like we haven't expended that at all for a number of years, so I brought that down. What is that? Um, it looks like it's something? probably when an employee yeah. leaves. Um, yeah, any cost. Yeah. That's Okay, so that, that brings that uh, line item down to um, minus 2%. Um, land use, I, oh, I got some uh, information about this. It doesn't really, the numbers in the spreadsheet, the one that Kelly gave me, don't reflect at all what Sarah is um, hourly rate is. Um, she's actually probably, I think, the highest paid um, person. It's, I think she's at 16 16 an hour. Um, although the spreadsheet said she was at 12.24, so it didn't really make sense. So I asked Chuck what it currently was. Mm -hmm. I think it is um, 16. What's that? I think she makes 16, 16 yeah. or something like that. I think so. And um, she's she's the planning board secretary. Planning and here, zoning. Yeah. Planning and zoning. Yeah. And, okay. um, so um, there's, um, but so I did the five percent like we did for everybody else. Um, so this number doesn't really match. So in the adjustment, these detail lines that Carolyn provided, which I won't show because it's this in confidential information there, um, right. um, she had Sarah at 1224, expecting to move to 16, but she's already at 16, 16. So I'm not really sure how, I'm guessing that the hours that were in this calculation and in the you know, calculation behind the, this aren't really accurate because okay. the numbers didn't make sense. Yep. So. Um, so that, um, and then it, so let that um, janitor, I asked Chuck, he gets the same increase that everybody gets if only do 2% across the board or whatever, so I put that in for him as well. Um, again, all these things are just suggestions. Um, um, so yeah. facilities director, um, so this is funded currently for half a year at 46.80. Um, that's assuming the last, that we had a facilities director the last six months. She had doubled it or annualized it for a full year. I don't know. We don't know yet if we really what we really need for facilities director um, and how we're going to handle that. Mm -hmm. So I left it at what um, it was last year. What's the position? Facilities director. Oh, facilities. Okay. So it'd be like town hall director. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I left that um, as as it was last year. Um, this one, I wasn't quite sure why this was a twenty six hundred dollar, um, twenty twenty six hundred percent increase. Um, in the comments over here. Yeah, I think that is uh, those are comments from somebody else because I think it has yeah. to do with the new water gauge. Um, and so reading. budget for second right. reading. They're, so yeah, they're adding a meter. I'm guessing to the fire station. They have yes. To, yeah. I guess they didn't have one before. They, they never had one before. They have. They added one. So they, they, they a second one. They have one now, right? No, they don't have a meter, and cemetery doesn't have a meter. So why do they have to have two meters? I think it's the size of the pipe that they have. Oh, I think that's two, two inch. inch. Yeah, yeah, two inch. Two inch. It's okay. <laughs> two inch meter. Yeah, that was okay. okay. Um, so in that, I believe must be actual operating costs. No. Um, no um, construction costs. Correct. I have no idea. It was already there. Budget for the two inch. Um, I think, yeah, that's what the construction costs. Maybe somebody accessible. could follow up with Mark and ask him about Jack, maybe, yeah. since you're the fire. Oh, yeah, that, I think that's what, uh, well, that's what proposed they're going to spend for their water budget for the year. I, I, and it's I, gone up because I don't think they because have it's, because they it's have metered actually meter. Yeah. yeah, it's metered now and it's going to go up substantially. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to look at washing trucks once a month. <laughs> well, Mark won't go for that, but you know we have to think about no, but we have to be reasonable, right? Then you'll um, have to find the money somewhere else. Um, right. Yeah, it, I just like yeah. I mean, if if there's use, I understand there's. Um, hazardous um, mm -hmm. cases as mm -hmm. well. So I think it's just a matter of 
encouraging them to be thoughtful about so where, where now little, that we're mirroring, you know. So um, where I'm a little concerned, and again, I don't have issues with any resident being able to go to the cemetery and turn on a faucet and filling up a half gallon of water with water plants. Mm -hmm. But where I have a concern is what if what if a resident goes and gets a half a gallon of water and leaves the faucet on and leaves and it goes for a day or that's overnight? Yeah, that's a problem. Who's paying for that? Um, I think cemetery. So it's going to come out of the cemetery budget. I, uh, do they have a meter now? As well? No, I didn't think so. No, they're not metered. It's, it, I'm not sure who's paying that. No, it's a good question. Are, are they going to I guess this is going to be fire. Are they going to have a meter? As far as I know, the only one they're centering on right now is fire. Yeah, because I haven't heard that. Because I don't even know if they realize that there's none at the cemetery or not. I can ask Mark. So I don't know. <laughs> no, I just don't know because I didn't know that cemetery didn't have a meter and that fire department didn't have a meter. I, I didn't just either. assumed. I didn't either. Um, so that's kind of an open question. Is, is that like some construction costs around putting the meter in, the, the two-inch meter? Um, is it just operating costs? It's, I believe, operating. again, we'll have to get the answer, but I believe it's just operating costs. I, I believe yeah. that's true. Yeah, because the meter itself, I believe, is put in by the water and sewer. It is. Um, oh, we talked about this, so we can get rid of that. Um, because um, we now know that there's LED improvements there. Okay, so repairs and maintenance for the garage. Um, I looked at that over the last couple of years, and it was down. Um, so I thought maybe we could drop that just a little bit. Um, same thing with, um, fi well, fire station. They had them at 75, and then they jumped to 9,500, but they haven't really used much this year. And they did a lot, obviously, here in um, year 2020. So repair maintenance highway garage is a separate item, which is minor maintenance. Mm -hmm. And then in the SIP, there's a line for repair for the roof, roof, which is totally different. We, yep. we, okay. It's a capital this item. Is, this, this is obviously small items yeah. that you need to do, like whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so I... I I felt like those two maybe there was a little bit of wiggle room in those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. George might disagree, but um, well he hasn't spent two thousand dollars in the last two years. Good. Don't tell him. Um, and I don't even like I think he's aware of the line, but I don't, I don't know that he like thinks about it often because I think they also have some room in their operating their part of their operating. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Um, so that still was a ten percent increase um, mm -hmm. for the government buildings. Yeah. And then um, police, um, again, actually he was already at 5%, so I didn't even change that, but I wanted to highlight the salaries. Um, and oh, there was a little bit of room here in his budget um, for hazardous cleaning. Um, haven't really spent much, like in, at all, <laughs> like 11 bucks, 22 bucks, so I dropped that down a few bucks. Um, and then he's still at 0% on um, fire. Five percent. That's the impact of five percent. Um, so some. This you know. You know yeah. Go ahead. Jack. You mentioned yesterday what you read about the fire department and everything, and uh, you look at the additional work that Mark has with the uh, emergency thing. Shouldn't that be more than five percent? You have to make a decision. You know? Well, I'm making I mean, a decision. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's I'm, that's I'm, what I'm voicing my opinion. Yeah. Um, uh, my concern, my only concern, Jack, is um, if you if you do more percent for them, highway is going to say in transfer station or say more. You know, that's the only reason I said. Um, so you either make the decision to make exceptions, um, but you have to deal with everybody's exceptions, and that's the challenge. Yeah. So just a thought. This is just ideas. When no, and, and I, I know idea. where Jack's coming from, <laughs> and I think. You know, I'm not saying Mark doesn't do a great job. I think in the last couple of years, the fire department has done fairly well when it comes to budget. Mm -hmm. And I'm not they saying have. that I'm not saying that the fire chief has to suffer from it. If there's other areas we can pull out, I'm okay with that. If you want to figure out a way to, you know, slightly amend his salary because he took over the emergency. I'm not saying go to the twenty percent that he was asking. What I'm saying is I'm not. I'm not opposed to what you're putting out there. But, okay. okay. And if you are, that's fine. I'm just saying I'm not. 
So Sorry. I'm going to just note the things we want to come back to and right. have more discussions about. Sure. But I'm sure there's got to be some things that came up in their budget that... Oh, I'm, 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 I'm sure there's other things. That you saw. Are, are there not things that, like, my, um, are they, are they well, so more I'm efficient at spending their money than, like, George? <laughs> That's a good question. I'm sure it varies from year to year. Um, so, computer equipment... Excuse me. I had a question about the emergency... Um, Management. The increase for emergency uh, responsibilities, mm -hmm. wouldn't that have been moved from some other place where it was previously it assigned? Was, it would, chief of police. Chief, chief of police. police. Yeah. 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 So was that resource yeah. moved away from the police department and into the fire department along with the responsibility? No, the, no. the chief of police. Chief of police it. did it at no cost. It was part of his job description. Yeah. Um, okay, so, so, so equipment. Just, I'm not, I'm not, just say, so the majority, like almost all the towns, have the fire as the person that does that. Right. So Bob doing it was kind of, so that's part of the reason we changed it to. Mm -hmm. um, so the one thing is, I would like to know more about what is entailed in those responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, so that would help me, you know, well. Yeah. Anyways. No, I know what you're saying. And, and uh, you know, if, if, you know, Mark was saying earlier in one of the meetings that the hurricane that never came up the coast was a threat. Mm -hmm. And he was saying he had spent like 20 hours that week or 10 hours that week. So if that's the case, then he should be compensated, you know, to a point. To a point. It's part of the job, too, you know. I mean, if you take Public service yeah. in its all its glory. Yeah. Um, so computer equipment. Charlie, did you have something? Oh, Jody. Sorry, um, I was on the emergency management and they met fire, highway, police, everybody gets together and even you guys are delegated emergency tasks if something happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the emergency management leader, which before was the chief of police, now it's the fire chief, mm -hmm. is the leader. Mm -hmm. And select me and get down. You're, at last I knew, your role was to answer the phones. <laughs> <laughs> But everybody has a job to do in case that train tips over, or the hurricane comes in, or the tornado whips through, or something. So that's what it's for. And it, it does meet. It's a book about yay big, and you update it yearly. Okay. So. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, um, so we could get a little more background information about that. Yeah, I think we should, because he showed me a book he had to yep. do every week. So. Um, computer equipment, it looks like they probably got a computer in 2020. Um, you know, they spent some money here. Um, so I, I bumped it down. Um, I don't know how many computers they have in there. but So I left some money in there. Um, cables, whatever. Webcams, yeah. microphones. Yep. Um, equipment repairs. Uh, same thing, they, they were pretty under um, budget on that for the last few years. So I bumped that down. Um, okay, radio repair, um, they didn't spend, they haven't spent anything for two years now, um, so I think it's going to be coming out of, um, I don't know, maybe they don't have any broken radios. Well, I don't want to speak for the chief, but I'm guessing radio repairs for the old analyticals they have to use anymore, and right. now that they have the new LEDs, they may not tap into that because they're new radios. That's what I'm thinking. They they're buying new radios every year now. Yeah. So um, the analyticals they don't highly use. Yeah. Because they don't use that. Um, this insurance line doesn't look like um, it's been expended ever. Uh, don't know what that's about. What does it say before? One on one insurance. Yeah, I don't even. I don't. Um, doesn't not in the last three years, anyways. Um, supplies. Um, let's see. <coughs> I, oh, wait. So they had been around 500 oh, last year. In 2020, they went up, but this year they're only at 197. So, 500? Uh, 1,000. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not, I don't want to pick too much. I'm trying to make it reasonable still. And then, um, mm. so office supplies, again, typically underexpended, but I, you know, still left it over, um, over, well, actually. They were at 5,000, 1,000. Um, vehicle repairs are staying the same because it seems to be yeah. used. 
Uh, protective clothing, I left it, I level funded it. Um, I think, actually, I think Sean might have said 8500 so maybe we might want to consider putting that back. Um, he said there was a, a gear increase. I think it was 85. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you guys have any opinion about that, but I made a note. Yeah, they can't get it right now. Everything's um, backlogged. So that was that brings down that department to um, a negative three percent. Building inspector. I didn't do building inspector because I think he's treated differently. He um, he has a, a different like a, an hourly rate. That's, Tom. Yeah. Is it eighty dollars? Is that what it is? Yeah. It's a salary yeah. rate. Yeah. It's a salary rate, seven hours a week. Um, so I don't know how they, it looks like it was kind of random, like they had a big jump here, um, and I think there were hours changes in there as well. Um, so I didn't change that, but I'm not adverse to doing that. Um, he had, well, yeah. Um, when was it, was it just last year changed from five to seven hours? Yes. Just last year, right? Yeah. So you had a two hour increase, I mean, yeah. per week. So it's... Um, and some weeks you didn't bucks. use the whole seven, and other weeks you use more. So that's why you would see the jump. Okay. Um, five percent um, for highways. Um, that's what it looks like. And let's see. Okay, so for highway um, supplies, um, brought that down a little bit. They're typically underexpended here. The last couple of years. Signs. Um, we are really low. I'm wondering, like, what signs, like, <laughs> what signs, what more signs do we need this year or this coming year? He's so been we, trying to replace the stop signs to the newer signs that reflect. Oh, okay. The new um, road signs. Mm -hmm. Road signs. Yes, to put Romans for New Hampshire on. How often do they change them? Some of the old signs don't have what town it is, and the new one was. And you have, is that a 911 thing? Right. Yeah, yeah, and then you also have to worry about the stop signs and the, that they keep running over. Yeah, so the change with a car hits it. We replace quite a bit mm -hmm. in the winter. Okay. All right. So that may, that may be something we don't want to adjust. No, but I'm just wondering. Uh, okay. Mm. Uh, let's see, so line striping. Um, that is, oh, underexpended. It had been kind of a little underexpended, so I took a little bit off there. Um, but he's doing it right now, isn't he? It's under. Ex sorry. Yeah, yep. he is doing it right now. Line striping is when you, they contract it out. Right, and they just okay. did. Plummet Road. Plummet Road. Yeah. And yeah. Clement. So yeah. they did zero. So I looked at it, it was only one year, it was really pretty high. Um, Seventeen hundred. Um, so I brought that down a little bit. Um, catch basin cleaning. Uh, I actually mm -hmm. dropped that down a little bit because it doesn't look like we have done anything uh, for a couple of years with that. But there's your line item that you were asking about, Angela. So we do have dollars for our catch basin cleaning. It was late in the year one year, and that's the reason why they didn't do it. The year before last, but this last year, this year they did do it. That's why it yeah, lagged behind. Yeah, they keep doing that because that's that's why I still want to. Yes. Do we we do we contract that out? I don't. I don't believe so. Yes. We yes. do. Yeah, they do. I was going to say so. they must because how how do they pay people out of that line? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's the uh, when they got to get way into the pipe. So um, so road maintenance. So this was a big one. This one was um, twenty thousand dollars more, and it, um, it originally started at two seventy five. I level funded it because um, remember that we're proposing this forty four thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars that could potentially be available in SIP money. So, so you take down forty grand. So remember, we saved twenty five thousand dollars on the fire vehicle exhaust system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That. Basically, we could use here, and then there was an additional like nineteen thousand eight hundred and fifty, I think. Yes, um, so that's from seven. Maybe some other money too. So that still gets us up close to three hundred thousand dollars in paid <coughs> money for the year. So what did you take forty grand off? Uh, no, 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 no I level funded it. If it's in the second year, why not? The same as last year. Mm -hmm. So forty-four thousand eight hundred fifty um, is what we had said was available in set. Mm -hmm. 
You have to have a warrant article to take yeah. any money out of SIP, though. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so that's that. Um, and then, um, this is, so this is an interesting number. Um, this looks like 27%. So, I had, personally, I had a little issue with um, firefighters, uh, not the firefighters, the transfer station guys. Mm. Um, at thirteen dollars an hour, and we had agreed with George that we would bring them up to fifteen. Mm -hmm. So as I looked at this, um, I thought, you know, when we did five five percent, um, it doesn't really even get them. I think it barely gets them to fourteen. Yeah. Um, so when I look back at this, this budget was cut back here. Mm -hmm. um, so they already took money from them the year before. So this, this because is, they didn't hire someone. Yeah, they didn't right. hire the extra salary guy. Right. So I shouldn't say they. So I was part of it. So I basically gave this back, this money back, the Good. difference here. Did the five percent pool. Yeah. And added funding for the Saturday person. Good. So that's what this number makes up. So what do they go? What? Are the, so you can see. No, let me see if I can show you. So that okay, we'll see at the end what it comes up to. Let me see. So I need to comment here what this is. So restore 2391 from last year, which, um, actually, yeah, last year, add across the board 5%, and then add the, their one additional person, but I only did it at 1350, the new person. So that um, brought that line to um, 8264. So I note that for more conversation after. Or good for now? And good for now. Okay. Um, so that brings them, let's see, actually, uh, adjustment here, health and safety. Looks like they um, have barely ever used that, so I reduced it to four from eight. That's health and safety, so you guys can see it here. Um, recycling hauling, um, and this is questionable because I looked back and... Yeah, that is questionable. Well, but they have different processes now. Um, so I think they're doing less recycling. Um, I don't know if jo Jody following. was the transfer station person back then. Um, so if she has comments about that. So just, to, and again, it, it's not something that has to happen, but I noticed that it was underexpended pretty significantly this year and uh, last year. So where'd you, where'd back, you go? Back um, in... To, uh, down by 500. Okay. In 17 and 18, that's when we got our second compactor. Mm -hmm. So now we're not shipping out half full compactors. So they're maxing, uh, maximizing the compactors, and then it switches over to the empty one. And so we're never hauling something that's half full, right. just to make sure we have testing on Saturday. And then when George took over, um, and they started making changes about the recycling on the recycling product right. and dividing that up, that's saving us costs too. Yeah. He's doing a, personally, he's doing a wonderful job in generating in, revenue. Yeah. But breaking it's, down those costs. It's yeah. I mean George, but it's Ed really, right? Yeah. yeah. It's George. Actually Ed. George. Ed. George Ed. Yeah. It was yeah, George it in the beginning. Okay. Yes, George but was hired Ed. and then he hired Ed <laughs> <laughs> so. that's a good skill. <laughs> yes. So hazardous waste, I dropped down a little bit. It was um, underexpended last year. We actually just got our hazardous waste bill too. Oh, it's um, still pretty underexpended. It's like I think it's like twelve hundred dollars maybe. Um, so I dropped that down. Um, same thing on the these recycling. I think our processes have changed, um, so we're not spending as much. Um, it was un so not even a thousand um, last two years ago and this year so far. Sanitation total, same thing. Um, so that brought them to a 4% increase still. Okay. Um, nothing there. Animal control. Animal control is already basically oh. out. Just take it out. Um, no increase in general assistance, although I'm sure Jody has a, um, some thoughts about that. Um, we actually are still in pretty good shape for general assistance, but you just never know. So it's, But you have contingency for things like that as well. Yeah, you can't, that line item you cannot run out of and you went over a couple of years ago mm -hmm. before COVID hit and we've never overexpended that line. Now, be before me and prior to me, we never overexpended that line and somewhere in a couple, I forgot what it was, 
2018, 2019, before COVID hit, it, oh, it got overfunded, still, overspent. Close. What is the line? Welfare. Welfare. Oh, welfare. Yeah. You can't. If you if you run over, you have to pull it from somewhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that, and that's we have contingencies available for that. So. But you also have contingency for the roof leak and yeah. the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't change it. Put, put, put that down as a note. I want to talk about that. You talk about that tenth city again and the impact that might have. Okay. Yeah, is there is is it contingency in each department area or just an overall town Online. contingency? Yeah, it's yeah. a bucket. Yeah. Uh, summer camp. Uh, this one was a little tricky uh -huh. uh, because this one was um, their revenue generating. Yeah. And I don't know what their revenue is this year so far. They don't know. I need to get with Chuck. Um, so I I basically put five percent on this. Um, I think they were at eighty. It was I thought it was like eighty one. Um, let's see. Mm, I think it was here. This is the last one. This is. Oh, sorry, no, it was 60. Oh, 81 total, right? So, how does that work? Um, so, they're expecting to generate the extra revenue, though. Right. Um, so their expense. So they're also planning. So it's basically leveling it out. They they are um, asking for the budget that they also expect to gen generate revenue for. So they're going to offset it with that. Yes. Right. Yeah, but we don't. So we, we don't, don't know, know what it is. Yet, um, how that's going. Yeah. So that's hmm. a question. So again, that's questionable, as I mentioned. Um, but that's not really. That's. So it's money we're appropriating, but it's really going to be paid back by dues from somebody can't pay. Ideally. Yeah. That's and ideally, yeah. And last year you didn't have it, so you raised yeah. the money, yeah. and then you had it to use in other items last year. So you had to raise the, I can't read it from here, right. sixty or 80000 by taxation. We didn't, yeah, we didn't bring, we didn't include it last year. And it wasn't included at all last year. Well, it was in the operating budget. It was in the operating budget because they haven't canceled it yet. Yeah, it's in the appropriate budget. Well, we canceled it for COVID yet, then, the year before. I know well, they didn't have the program, but they appropriated money for it. Right. I thought we didn't appropriate it one year because we knew we weren't going to have it at all. No, you appropriated it, and then COVID hit, and so you didn't have it. And then we appropriated again, hoping you'd have it, and then COVID was still present, so they didn't have it last year either. Right, so there was no revenue to compensate for what was in the budget. Right. So, it wasn't a stamp person. It wasn't spent either. Right. right. Cool. So it's kind of. So it's, it's almost a non point until we know what they got spent. Well, ideally, so so ideally, they expect to be a complete offset in between revenue and expenses. So I just found out I knew where it is. Yeah, we can definitely we can put that back. Um, that one is going to get higher this time. Um, it wasn't the director that we it wasn't. No, they don't have a director. They haven't hired one yet. That's what I mean. So the rec director, um, I pulled it out, but I think it, it does need more discussion. But they they took it out last year. Yeah. Um, so I took it out just to kind of see what it meant. But it, I think I looked at the numbers. Um, I have to bring them up again, but one way or another, even if you do um, a 10-hour person um, for 15 or 18 dollars an hour, just, it's still going to be a, probably eight or nine thousand dollars. Yeah, how much? Nine thousand dollars. Nine. Yeah. So I mean, I know there's a few people who really like to see a director, but and I I understand that concern. Uh, what I like to see again is instead of getting not putting the cart in front of the horse, put the horse in front of the cart. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, Kim? Yep. Yeah. Well, a plan, a business yeah. plan. Yeah, so you're not just, more of a plan. you're not saying, hey, let's hire a rec director and let them figure out the role. Let's figure out, figure out everything and let them do everything. We're not sure what we need to do, but they'll figure it out type thing. Um, because I think, let's see, I'm sure. Yeah, let's have a role. Here's your record breakdown. Um, yeah, so, well, yeah, so if you pay them $15 an hour, it's only, it's not even $8,000, but 
you know, realistically, they're going to be at least 10 hours, and you're going to say at least 18, um, you know, kind of middle of the line. Yep. Um, so they're asking for $13,000 in funding for that. Right, um, and, and these are the choices. And you know, I know they were, they thought that would be a huge number, and that they could get a part-time person. They were hoping for that too. So I just wouldn't say this. I know it was a question, but yeah. we got to figure out better than engaging right now. It's so not, I, I, mean, I think the real question is, um, do do we want them to go back and put together a plan for uh, this year? Is probably a little late. I mean, I, I almost feel like you really need to have a little bit of a business plan for something like that. How are you going to run this um, this, this position? Um, you do. And because they got to make money, too. The expectation is they're going to make money. Yeah. Sorry, no, you, they do. And, and they haven't had very many volunteers, and so they haven't been able to really sell the plan or anything like that. Jody, Jody was on record. She was on the. She can tell you what, what they were doing then. It's changed a lot since then, though, because they had people, right? Yes, and the long-term plan was to have a year-round rec director, um, but the programs just aren't there right now. There's no basketball program um, that where the ice skating rink was. You can't put there any longer, so if you ever want an ice skating rink again, you're going to have to find a new spot because that's where the septic's going to go or the whatever. Water station. Uh, yeah, <laughs> something's going there, so now we can't have the ice skating rink there either. Um, and then until summer camp gets up and running, and hiring was really hard. And if you've noticed, everybody's having a hard time hiring right now. Yeah. And so it's, yeah. I'm curious to see what will happen because Camp Rally was a really good program and my kids loved it. So, um, and it was a good benefit for the town, but I think it's going to be really, really, really hard this year. Plus we have to have the school approval before we even can try to staff it. So, yeah. yep, I agree. so I don't know what they have planned for their summer projects either. So that's a coordination thing between the rec department and the school too. Yeah, and they so. usually start that right about now. Right. Where else are that coming from? Okay. Um, so the only other thing um, was library, which we don't touch. That's their own, they do their own budget. Um, so we don't make any. Um, which we raise is one percent, right? They went up 1% from last year. Yeah, if I remember. that's the budget they proposed, yeah. So what's the bottom, where are we at the bottom line now? So now, um, this cover doesn't seem like right. I'm missing here. Um, so now, right. um, yep. that doesn't seem like something. 2503. Um, so that brings us down to an increase of not right here. That's not I'm going to wait till you talk. I yeah. get my head about 3%. No, it, it's, about three it's, it's, well, it's one, it's, it rounds a bit, but it's about 1%. A little over 1. Oh, good. Um, Actually, that should be, some reason it's not calculating, but it's really 53000 with the change back to the... Oh, when is the next budget meeting? Two weeks? <coughs> is, is one <coughs> next, next Wednesday, right? Yes. Next one. Budget meeting? Yes, yeah. next Wednesday. This is where the... So but that's go over the quarter, Lisa? Is, mm -hmm. is that to go over the quarter? Or is that... Uh, yes, it's quarterly in every department. Yeah. And right. So I go in back Somebody pays attention to the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> sure so, does. I'm at every meeting. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Im impressive. <coughs> so, 
So this is really um, 53, 245, so it's not subject to which is a 2%. Okay. So what did you, what, so what's the adjustment? The rec, I put back the recreation, the full recreation oh, request. Oh, okay. But other the, than that. The adjustment is now down to a 2% right. over That's last right. year's budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we started off at 9, and I'm thinking we're down to 5, and now we're at 2. That. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. I, would, I mean, I don't know if we can get to even, but we're close. So, so in terms of amounts, dollar amounts, what is the um, change, and then what is the revised budget amount? What, what's the change dollar-wise? So what did you reduce it by? 53200 Oh, so it originally was 211000 Yes. When we first started the, the budget for this year. That's the budget was handed to us. Mm -hmm. Now, um, with these adjustments, it's 53000 53000 in adjustments. Uh, no, no, that's what the total. Uh, no, fifty-three thousand dollars over last year's budget. Oh, okay. So I'll do some quick. Which comes out to it looks like two percent. Two percent. Which. Yeah. Hmm. So it's about um, it's that's an adjustment not, of one hundred and fifty-eight thousand, and I'm just rounding up to thousands in one. So if you take two eleven minus fifty-three, mm -hmm. it's one fifty-eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one more time on the budget amount: two million what, with all those reductions. Two five zero three two one five. Okay, thanks. So now. So now. Let's so go now. Back and so talk about what we didn't like. Right. So now, hypothetically speaking, I'm, I don't mean to complain about it. We 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 settle with this number, right? So it goes to the budget. They're still gonna. They may say, okay, we like two percent, or they're still gonna like. Still try to reduce it. They could. They could do anything they want. They could try to increase it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, they can do it either way. All right. So, what points do what point you got any points that you want to go back so to? So the things this? we want to go back to is um, <coughs> um, we need to well figure out what's happening with cemetery water. Um, so fire department salaries, <coughs> and then the gear. I need to increase the actually I can the gear back too. How much was that? It's um, just eighty-five hundred, five hundred bucks more. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. That there was something, something big that we wanted to talk about. Um. Oh yeah, max, <clears throat> max increase. Why don't we have you come in and present what you got something emergency? Well. I'd say I'm okay with that, but then if we do that, we have to be okay with accepting what he's proposing. Because I'm, I'm not saying that. I, I mean, well, we can make the percentage anything true. we want. Yeah, you're right. I understand what you're saying. You're just saying you want, might want to see more than five percent, right? Not thirteen percent. No, you right. Buy yeah. in between eighty. Yeah. Well, he, yeah, he had twenty percent, which is great. Right. So maybe that's what his maybe was twenty percent, mm -hmm. but maybe which is twenty four hundred bucks. I think it was. So that's not a whole lot of money, really. But you know, that's what it was. Like yeah, but that's how you know. I see what you're saying, Kim. It's hard to rationalize. Well, not rationalize it. You know, how do you say to one any employee, "Hey, so, we're giving you a five percent, but this one employee is getting a twenty percent." I'm just so, I'm saying if you're looking across the board. Yeah, I'm just saying if you're adding to his job, maybe you give him something for that on top of the 5%. Because his responsibility has changed. He could also be done, you know. That's what I'm saying. We could also talk about... Are you back on yeah. the fire chief? We could also yeah. talk about a statement. I agree with that. You know. Still well, think it, the is, it is a statement. Right. Um, huh? It is a statement. But Chuck said it is yeah. a quarterly, quarterly statement. I think it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so my thought was like, let's have him come in and talk to us about that piece of it. Okay. And, 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 we'll, and we'll take and we'll you know right now we'll leave it at five. But okay. If, see what that brings in value because that changes his job. If he's doing all these things that he says he's doing, you got to get compensated somewhere mm -hmm. because he wasn't doing it before. That's my. Opinion. 
So the one, the only so, comment so, I have so, to say so, is so, so just, he did, he volunteered for that position. So, um, mm -hmm. I don't know if he considered at the time whether or not there was going to be additional compensation. You know. So and again, I, mean, I don't. I, I, the whole he didn't volunteer. He he didn't didn't did. to no, he did. Yeah, he did. did. But anyways, so, regardless, so, we can so, have him come in and talk. But I think the other. Um, let me just let me just finish my thought. So my. And again, I don't want to go on this island too, but I mean, we had a chief, police chief, who yeah. did it for free. Right. So, I mean, we as a boy could just say, if we wanted to, we could just say it's not part of John's responsibility and go back to John's and, you know, keep his original strike and what, what it is. Right? He's fully staffed now. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not. Um, so I don't care. I mean, I. Yeah. I guess my question is, so George also asked to change his compensation um, because he works a lot of extra hours. Right. Yeah. Do you have to entertain that? You know, he wants to actually change it to, um, he right. wanted a much higher increase mm -hmm. um, and uh, and also he wanted us to change the way he was paid. I don't know yet. Yeah. So I just don't want one person to hear that we've made exceptions for other people. So if there are really some differences there, then I think we have to think about fairness, in fairness, you really have to think about what George is asking for. Well, I understand that also. I'd also look, you know, across the state at George's position and see, yeah. you know, is it a salary that these generally make? And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, is it different because George, you know, bigger towns are going to assume that the highway director is well, not even plowing because he might have 20 people that does it. We need to we need some some information. You know, we need to figure out what a part time firefighter, fire chief, or firefighters make. You know, in towns of our size, with similar responsibilities. And that was that's the goal for this year. Obviously, is that we get that information. You know, we spend the time to do that. Yeah, we might not like what we see for certain positions for sure. So, I'm not averse to having Mark come in, but. I have to say we have to be open that if George hears we're making an exception, then we have to also entertain George. Oh, John, George wants to go to what, an hourly rate or something? Is it, wasn't uh, that he, had, he had a couple of proposals. Um, an hourly one thing or, time and a half. or he wanted to be paid after 50 hours? Time uh, and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That seems different then. You know what, though? You know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I gotta be careful with that. Mm -hmm. What I say, because I'm mm -hmm. I'm gonna make assumptions this week during the winter good. that there's not a 40-hour yeah. work week when we're not having snow. That's totally real. So on those weeks, do we pay him? Do on those does he get paid 20 hours? On those weeks, he's moving the snow that we just plowed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have I'm a winter saying, where we have three storms. I'm saying we have to be open to the conversations. No, I'm I saying, I'm just, I, I know, but yeah, I, I'm, I know. again, you know, yeah. we also have to look at people's positions mm -hmm. and like, you know, we're pretty, we're pretty, you know, we're pretty open with, you know, these guys, 40, all summer, they're four, 10 hour day, four, 10 hour days a summer. So every, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they all, you know, summer. So when winter comes. See, I didn't know that. Yeah, but he comes, works 10 hours Monday through Thursday. Oh, I didn't say I know that, but I'm just saying every, every I'd love to work four ten hour days and have every Friday off too. I'm just saying there's pluses and cons for everything. Okay. So I and I, I'm just gonna finish I have a concern that I'm sure there's times during the year that George is very busy and he may work fifty or sixty hours or sixty hours a week. I'm also have a concern there's a lot of times during the year that at certain times of the year that there's not forty hours to fill. With a guy that's transferred for 40 hours and highway for 40, that's 80 hours. So, so if we're going to start going down the road, I mean, we can't say you can only work 20 hours this week, he's going to get paid 40 hours. Mm -hmm. So, so I, don't, I don't think we can make these decisions right now. We can't, but I'm just throwing out my two cents. Yep, no, I agree. Um, and it's it, and it, we really have to have a deeper conversation about it, about him, um, really, the I feel bad the transfer station guys, maybe they'll get to 15 this year, maybe not. Um, so I think it definitely requires more conversation. This is really just kind of initial ideas. Mm -hmm. No, so and I like what I said. I'm glad that we got down to 2%. I mean, we definitely don't want to put a budget to anybody at 9%. That's just too much. Like, well, it's too right. 100%. I agree with that. 
Yeah, it was like two hundred eleven thousand yeah. increase. So we're um, getting pretty close to where we want to be. I I feel. So so we have some open items that we have to plan to talk about. Mm -hmm. Because um, I don't think we're going to answer, we're going to agree tonight that this is what we want. I think we need to kind of think about what has been presented and what further discussions we want to have. No, but I think we can agree that we're happy with 2% than the 5 or 9%. We're close. Right. Well, and maybe we feel like we're close. Maybe with some minor adjustments, um, you know, we're still close. Yep. Yep. And then. So about the budget, I, don't, I didn't see the general fund in there for $100,000, but you guys saw the emails I sent? Yeah. Okay. We, we can discuss that at another time because we still probably got to adjust it all, but... So let's um, let's have a conversation about the welfare concerns, and then oh, let's, yeah. let's... I'd like to plan, because I don't have dinner, honestly. I wouldn't mind planning to no, like, contemplate this for yeah. um, a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not a lot, a lot. Well, actually, next week's budget is um, quarterly. Mm -hmm. So that's so we got that means not necessarily we have to present anything. Right, that's um, good. Yeah. So what do we do with that being? It's just a quarter. Yeah. Quarter. We well, we go through um, oh, you just update and quarter expenses and yeah. So we we don't have to have this decided by next Wednesday. Right. Yep. Um, so I think we need to think about it yep. and think about what conversations we want to have. So um, is there any more things you want to discuss about tonight? I mean, welfare. Yeah. Hey, the only thing I'm saying on the welfare, right? slept on it last night on the whole 10 city thing mm -hmm. and I'm very concerned and I think that we need to put some sort of a contingency plan together in mm -hmm. case those people do move yeah, yeah I, I, I know we, we, we said we're going to monitor it and I agree with that and I think that's the way we got to stay but in the back of our minds we ought to have something I don't have a problem with because that. So, so that we're looking at mm -hmm. the impact it could have on welfare mm -hmm. would be substantial yeah. it could I'm going to be a silver lining and say I'm gonna guess that it's not gonna hopefully happen but I agree I'm just saying I'm, just, I'm not saying we do anything just no I have I, an idea I, of a plan. I agree what we don't want to have happen is we just get blindsided and all of a sudden where there was eight people there's 28 people yeah, especially what Jody said about the welfare stuff that you have to have it there she's got her hand raised sorry the Tri cities are there's an encampment at Willing Pond. Yeah, so we were very and familiar with that. And after, I think it's November 6th, yeah. right. yes. is their move date. Mm -hmm. um, so, if How are they going to enforce that, Teresa? They're, they're going to be, on. right now, they, they have a meeting today. I wasn't at the meeting, um, but I think they're going to activate Willing Pond Shelter um, at least this year. They have a Willing Pond Shelter? A warming right, center. It's a warming center that um, oh, oh. the town of Dover bought it last year with a grant um, from the Fed, and but it's in Summersworth technically. So and they opened and closed it um, for the extreme cold, and they're going to be doing that again. And then there's going to be collaboration between the towns on how to address it because I thought so, I thought they were moving them out. I didn't think they would just put a warming center in and say, hey, we're all going to be kumbaya. Oh, or just yeah, a, little, a little bit of both, most likely. I was not at the meeting. I'm not privileged to no, build but discussions I, between town managers and yep. stuff. But there is a plan to do it softly, gently. Okay. And either they're going to help them um, right. find something, or if they are not able to, find a, it, it's a low barrier shelter. So because there are people that cannot stand living in a Building. shelter like a crossroads or a Michael's right. place or something. And they're, they're banned from those places. Mm -hmm. So we also have to address those issues as well. So I think the sooner you move on the town of Rollinsford, the sooner you have the ability to help them before the system gets flooded, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because we're talking about 10 people, right? 15? We're in the wrong one? Yeah. Eight in that one encampment. Okay. Oh, so we're that's, going out on Saturday, too. So, we're, so, so that's a much better scenario than 68. 68. Or so. Because uh, what I also don't want to happen is Will and Get moved, and they said, hey, come on over here. Right. Well, that, that, that's, that's what Mike. Yes. Yeah. So we want to add ten thousand to that budget line. Right? 
I, know I, I don't. I, I think we have further discussion. Yeah, I think. I, I just leave leave things as they are. One of the people in the encampment okay. in Summersworth has been got. there for six years. No, that, that, well, you go look at no, it. And is you'll have you'll have an opinion. He's been in a well, like, well, living year round in a yeah. tent yeah. 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 for ten for six oh, years. Yeah. So once again, and he doesn't want to live inside. True. Yes. Okay. So next meeting. Um, and I think I'm going to be around next weekend. I mean next week now. Um, so we don't mm. have a, a regular meeting next Monday. Um, we do have a budget meeting on the, fo the following week. We have to have the budget um, further along. For them. Um, so we could use <clears throat> the 18th if we want. What's that? It's Monday. Okay. Um, I won't be on Monday. Okay. We can do the 19th or 20th though. Um, we have a meeting already on the 20th. We can do the 19th. Um, Oh, I can't do the 19th. Okay. Um, what if we do the Thursday? Thursday the 21st? Yeah. Um, yep. Is that what should work? Yeah. I don't think I'm going up to Phoenix now, so... Well, if you do, we'll... If we do, we'll change we'll, we'll, I don't we'll think I am. Yeah. Until the fall. Yeah, all right. We'll see. So, um, the 21st. Um, can I ask that we do that at 6.30? Yes. Yeah. There's no problem. Okay. If, you, if you're rushing to get her at 6, it's no big deal. I, I just like you a little bit earlier. Yeah, because I have to come, come to over. Portsmouth. Um, yeah, that's no problem. Okay. If you want to change them all at 6, you can do that too. You wouldn't mind? It doesn't bother me. Don't bother me. That'd be awesome. Okay. Then you can we just, maybe there. we should, yeah, we just want to make sure we post it. So, okay. keep going. Yeah. Right. Um, all right, so we're going to reconvene on this um, next Thursday, uh, 6.30. Okay. okay. Got it. Great. Sounds good. So, um, so I think there aren't really, oh, so, the, well, we do need to make a decision if we want to have additional conversations. We should do that before that meeting, because that may want, we want, may want it to be part of that meeting. Do we want to Jack's for it. I, if, if you don't want to do it. I didn't say that. I'm just, I, I, I don't care. Uh, well, I, 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 I do want to know, um, like, I want to understand what additional responsibilities there are. And how much time it takes. You know, if we want to talk to both George and Fire Chief Mark, I'm fine with that. But you know, if George is going to propose what he's proposing, I want to come back and ask well, him a lot of questions he may not like. So. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying, if we deviate from like an across the board, and one of the other department heads hears. Yeah. No, I'm okay with that. We have both. to be open to hearing their arguments as well. I'm open to talking to them both. I think we should do that. I'm fine with that. Okay. It's only fair, right? Okay. Right. So we want them to come in on the 21st? Yeah. Sure. I'll, I'll contact them both. Okay. Are you going to make a decision on MRI? Because you talked about it last Actually, oh, I was yes, going right. to bring that up. Sure. Um, I think we should move forward with the recruiting services and the temporary TA. I think we should move forward with with the recruit services. Um, yeah, I think for the two days we agreed to. I, two think, days, I think two days is what we're going with. Two days and we'll do it. We have to do a contract, you know, so we should figure out if it's going to be two months or three months or how we're going to do that. Or, actually, they said it's, it, it, it's, it's, not, not, it's not binding. It's not binding, so yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think we I would say send them a note and say we'd like to. Yeah. Get moving on doing the two days. All right, so um, I'll make a motion to move forward with the recruiting services um, for MRI um, for um, and the um, temporary town administrator um, for two days a week. Mm. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I'll reach out to um, Alan and let him know. I um. Once we sign a contract with them, then we'll share the transition information that we got. I think the interview went really, it, it's what I wanted to hear from Alan. Mm -hmm. And I think, that's a Mark or Mike? Mike. Mike um, presented himself well, and I think he's, he seems like he's very professional, and I think he's going to fit into the, he's going to fit into the peg pretty easily. So, all right, cool. All right, good. Anything yes. else? Motion to adjourn. Cool. Can you share that budget? Are you willing to share that, or um, um, it's it's really a work in progress right now. It's so it isn't really official. 
Um, oh, okay. But if the board says they want to share it, um, then we can, as a board, agree to do that. Um, I mean, I, we don't care if you take all the numbers and stuff, but it's a why don't we budget. wait until? And just in case, yeah, and just in case it goes out and somebody gets upset. Yeah. No. Although it's all in the meeting, no, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's public. It's public. I don't. It's fine. It's public it's a, knowledge. It's a work in progress. Just know? yeah. Just That's, make sure. Just okay. notate that, or whoever wants, who's up, it's not anything finalized. I'm. I'm. I don't intend to share. It's just very hard to see what you yeah. were scrolling no, through from here. No, I'm. I'm okay with it. And but it, but we'll it's okay. You know, I understand if you don't. I've got the bottom line numbers, and I can. You know. No, it's okay. I'm in okay. years past, they've done version one, I'm version fine. two, version yeah. three. We'll yeah. That's cool. Um, so I call this proposed version three. I'm going to relabel it as version three. Perfect. As, as long as the board agrees right now, yep. then it's right. okay. I like the way you do that too. So then four will be proposal four and two mm -hmm. version four. Yeah, cool. Okay. All right, so I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right.